Here's another fun noise experiment with 12 9 volt alkaline batteries, basically two stacks of six. Probably not supposed to do this, but I just tap them all together and then take the difference of those two stacks, which happens to be plus 0.2 volts. Nice to have a low voltage, even though this does remove the DC. The nice part about having a low voltage is it soaks quickly and it's able to be used pretty quickly. And then what you see is not really noise so much as just my 60 hertz interference. So because everything's such a small amount of voltage, low noise, the 60 hertz ripple becomes dominant here. You can see maybe a 10% noise on top of that 60 hertz. Anyway, so it's about 10 millivolts for 12 batteries, so about 1 millivolt per battery. Um, with 5,000, so 0.2 microvolts per battery is kind of the ripple that it's showing because of its internal resistance, maybe 1 ohm per battery. But like I said, on top of that, maybe what we're more interested in is that little 10% fluctuation. So that might be then 1 millivolt of noise, so about 0.2 microvolts, 200 nanovolts, and then divided by square root of 12 to get the noise per battery. So maybe 50, 60 nanovolts. Let's say 60 nanovolts per battery of noise. Let's zoom in on this a little bit and see if at different time base anything more interesting happens. Here it just gets filtered out. And here at the longer times We just continue to see maybe 10% fluctuation. And this oscilloscope has some artifacts, but I would believe it's just 60 hertz. Yeah, the 60 hertz plus, let's say 10%. Here you need a better scope to resolve this better. Anyway, there you have it. Another noise experiment.